welcome to friggin' New Year's Day 2015. What does that mean? Probably not much, but whatever! We're here! Yay! New year, new plan to snow blow the driveway big times! Yay! Fuck is she ever coming out down there? Oh Jesus, get out of the way, curtain. But, uh, don't know if you can see through the uh, wet windows, but she's coming down out there like a motherfucker. Just friggin' giving her with the snow. So last night was kind of weird, um, basically I was invited to go into a Google Hangout or play Grand Theft Auto online or just hang out and chat on a voice chat or, you know, just a real easy night. I didn't want to friggin' get all crazy and go to a party and then have to try and figure out how I'm going to get home and all that shit. So uh, I just took it easy and stayed home, you know. And uh, played a little bit of Grand Theft Auto and chatted with friends and hung out and drank and Fuck, I'm not drinking again now for a while. I'm fucking... I need to detox. Holy. Feeling rougher than, like, fucking 20 grit sandpaper right about now. So I'm going to take it easy on the friggin' booze for... Probably... I'm going to quit drinking for January. How's that sound? No liquor in January. And, uh... Go from there. Let my body bounce back. Because, Christ, over that Christmas holiday there. I was drinking a lot. And fuck, do I ever feel it. Oh, well, I've been up for about two hours now and trying my best to wake the fuck up and feel better, but holy shit. I feel rougher than 40 grit, for frig's sakes. Oh, I tried to dick with the rest of the uh, Oriental Party Pack today, and fuck, my body wasn't having any of that. Freak's sakes, how bad is it out there right now? My goodness, where'd my car go? <laughs> wow, that's a lot of snow. Son of a bitch. Frig yeah. Oh man, winter showed up in January, people. Frig sakes, this could go on till friggin' October next year, for all we know. My goodness! Well, I gotta remember tonight to fire the garbage at the side of the road because the uh, garbage dicks will be by tomorrow to pick it up. And I forgot last week, so now I got three of these, uh, frig sakes. I got three of these great big garbage bags once it white balances. That guys! And uh, I got three of these bastards that I got a friggin' uh, fire at the end of the road tonight when I get home from work. And then hopefully they can pick them up tomorrow and then uh, I can start filling up more because I still have a lot more garbage I haven't even touched downstairs basically. Like I haven't really done much down here. Like I vacuumed but you can't tell because I have pets and <laughs> I moved TVs around like I didn't, I didn't really do anything down here so uh, yeah like I want to get this all straightened out over here and get this probably upstairs because like the good part about that green screen is I can put things behind it and they're out of sight it's like having a false wall so that, that's kind of cool. So like I can put my, my, my bass guitar and my amp and all that behind it. And then when I need it, I just like fucking lift the curtain, grab what I need and drop the curtain, you know. And it's pretty freaking awesome. It's pretty freaking awesome. A skittle diddle 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 do. Also, I got a freaking text message from my coworker reminding me I had to go into work today. Like... Fuck, why don't you twist the knife while it's already in my fucking chest, eh? Jesus. Oh yeah, something else I gotta do is get a, a laptop. I need to log into each one of these separately because my router has changed. Mind you, I could probably do something even easier and change my router. <laughs> oh no, I gotta log into them anyway because, uh, no, I have an idea. Okay, the reason why I'm having a problem with it is my router is a Linksys before it was a D-Link, and stock Linksys's addresses are like 192.168.1.1. D-Link is 0 0.1. So all my machines and like uh, the XPS 8300, all the cameras, they have static IP addresses because I use the XPS 8300 to run a server for media, and sometimes we play Minecraft on a private server and I just run it right off my freaking computer and uh, I had it statically assigned because I had ports forwarded to it now I gotta reset those up I can't log into the D-Link to get the information so I gotta freaking figure around with it and figure it all out and it's gonna be a pain in the arse but what I was thinking 
was change my friggin' IP address on my router from uh, .1.1 to .0.1 and then all I'd have to do is do the WPS press button thing on the back and then press the button on the router and they should link up and become best friends forever fuck I'm gonna try it alrighty well it's like I got about 50 minutes 55 zero before I gotta head off to work and the snow plow just came by three times and it looks like they, they basically walled me in so uh, we gotta get out there and fucking clear that driveway and we're gonna do it with speed and effectiveness of the snowblower because some bitch pile of monkey nuts I don't think the car is gonna get out you know what I might do is scrape this and then get the snowblower out and just fucking chuck her in the middle of the yard I could totally get out of this with the car no problem but uh, if I scrape it I'll make a base and that'll be pretty awesome probably shut the car running here because I was going to take it out of the driveway and snow blow but fuck that well this is awesome I can't get into my garage something's holding me closed fuck that it's that wood that dad put in the top there she fucking sagged Are you fucking serious right now? This is fucking horse shit. What the hell? Like, it was fine when I barbecued, and now it's not fine. Like, Keska fuck. I don't have the key to, uh, fucking open that, the big bay door. I don't have the key for it. Fuck! New Year's is already starting off fucky. Well, fuck the driveway and everything else, because, uh, I can't get into my garage to get my shovels. I can't find a key to open the fucking garage. I'm about ready to go fucking full Jackie Chan and blow that cock sucking door right off the son of a bitch and hinges. I fucking thought I had a key for the bay door, but I don't, so I might have to call a locksmith and have him come and pick it so I can break into my own fucking garage. Or, if I can find some paper clips at work, I might be able to rake the tumbler and get it to set because it's just probably a four pin tumbler and if I rake it I can probably get it to fucking pop and then I can probably get into my own fucking garage oh I'm not having a good day people not having a good fucking day it's currently 305 and I thought I had keys on my desk for that because the big bitch of it all is the key that unlocks the side door was on that chain so I guess I'm going to be buying myself a new uh, doorknob and fucking twisty thingamajig for my garage. Because this is complete fucking bull's dick and I don't know why this is happening. And I'm like, well, maybe maybe that support beam in the back finally fucking blew. You know, we reinforced it. Maybe that blew. And now I got about 38 tons of fucking wood sitting in front of the door. I don't know, but I'm going to have to go out there. I want to see if I can look through the garage side window and spot any anomalies like the roof doesn't look like it's sagging so it's not like the fucking place collapsed but then again you never know this fucking house was built by a bunch of idiots and stove together by morons and well not one room is square and not one room is level so awesome of course looking through this window is going to be next to impossible but look I don't see any anomalies in the way everything looks fine but for some goofy dick reason it's getting snagged up top. So unless the screw backed itself out or... I don't fucking know. Let me try something. Well, it's probably a good idea that I kept this, but I'm probably gonna get rid of it. My idea is, is right here is the thing, right? So there's a wire going from there to there that hooks up to the latch that pops it. If I use this coat wire friggin' hook thing, go in, hook the wire, you know, hook the wire, and give her a fucking torque up. It should open the bay door and then I can inspect to see what the fuck's going on in there. Success. So what the hell's going on in here? Why the cock want this open? Because it's hitting this fucking thing. I knew that was gonna be a problem. Of course now my doorknob's all fucked because I'm beating the shit out of it. Ugh. Where, oh, where can that thingy be? The thing you hit things with when you're angry. 
Okay, well I whittled it down a bit, but I don't have the right tools to do it, or the time for that matter. I'm going to fucking hammer it when I get home tonight. I'm going to fix this, but right now the door, you know, it opens, it closes. But, uh, I don't know why that wasn't cut straight and why it has a great big fucking gangling dink on this side. Don't know what happened there. After all that nonsense and bullshit, I'm still not late for work. Let's do a snow ride. First, let's see if I can get out of the driveway. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see if I can get grip. Can't tell if anything's coming. Seems clear, seems clear. Full power to the shields and push. And push. Ah, fuck yeah. It's like there's nothing there even. Okay, so the roads are really fucking slippery right now. Like, really slippery. I just slid down that little hill at the uh, top of my house there. I just uh, had the brakes on and the ABS turned on, so I said fuck it and I dropped her into first gear. Let the transmission deal with the nonsense because uh, that's the way. Uh huh, uh huh, I like it. Forget what I gotta do. But, um,. Yeah, as you saw there, breaking into the garage, like, I could have easily fucking raked, just raked the pins with a paper clip and use a, a small flat precision screwdriver like the one I use for my e-darts just to apply a tiny bit of pressure to the cylinder and I could have popped the lock that way too, like, I've, I've done that before on the garage, that's how I used to get into it when I was, uh, when I first bought the house and I never even, I, I've, it's fucked. I've lived there for, I'm gonna say nine years now. Well, nine years as of this August. It's been eight years. And in the eight years, I never once thought to replace that stupid handle thingy so I can have a proper work and lock. Never once thought about it. And now that I'm doing more garage shit, I think I kind of want that feature because now that I'm doing more fat, well, right now I'm not fabricating frig all, but, you know, come nicer weather when I can get all my shit out of there. Uh, like I said, there's one thing I wanted to do was make a lean-to and have all my tractors and mini bikes and all that bullshit out of my freaking garage. And then I can use the uh, garage for fabricating even in the winter. If I get one of those propane freaking sunflower jobbies there, you stab on a propane bomb and heat your garage with that, you know, that'd be perfect. And then I can start doing stuff in the winter maybe. But uh, I like to build like a sled, like a eight horsepower sled type thing. Something I can ride in, in the winter on the trails, but it wouldn't sink through like lawnmowers do and get stuck, you know? But I wouldn't even know where to begin for something like that. Like where do you buy a track set up? Uh, Rickham has that track set up from a, a snowblower there and he was gonna if you've seen the video he's standing on the bloody thing and he's powering it with a cordless drill and he was getting some pretty good uh, oh dick rear ass end out yup ass ends out oh fuck there we go we got it boys <laughs> we almost piled but um no we didn't fuck I had her I just wanted to get you guys all excited because I do that but uh, no, like he had a freaking cordless drill with a socket hooked into the freaking drive piston. He's standing on the tracks and driving it like like a, he's like riding it across the street and stuff. And I was like, fuck, that's awesome. But the only thing I wonder is, is how do you steer something like that? Like you put skis in the front and they're gonna plow, like if there's too much pressure from the rear, they're gonna plow. So you kind of need those skis to be out pretty far so you can have a pretty wide turning angle and somehow influence those uh, skis to grip the snow and pull it around. I think, anyway. But uh, never really seen much of that project. He hasn't really cracked on it. I guess he's been busy with customers fixing cars. Especially some of the derelict wrecks he had in there to fix already. Like people bringing it over expecting a miracle cure and it's like, bro, I recommend you scrap this fucking car. This thing's beyond safe. Which is funny because it's the same thing they say about me because I drive a Pontiac. Oh, huh. all right guys, everything's closed today. Like, are all these people working on New Year's as well? If you are, apologize, it sucks. I feel your fucking pain big times. Elantra, find the throttle, get the fuck onto it. You're pissing me off with your slow moving speeds. <gasps> Even the highway's sloppy. Sloppy, sloppy. 
Oh, Frig, eh? I bet you Easy Fun Shine's watching this right now, probably just gargling black back the roll aids to keep that anxiety gastric friggin' intestinal juices from choking her out. She says she gets all nervous when I drive in the snow. And meanwhile, I've been doing. Oh, that, that hurt. That hit. That connected with something underneath. Fucking right, it did. I felt that. But um, no, she says she gets anxiety watching me driving this, and it's like, fuck, I've been doing this for. Well, since I was 16, when I got my G, my uh, 365, and then I got my G license like two days later, I learned to drive in the winter. I had to do my, even when we did our, because uh, when I started as a G driver, I was like a one star. So as a secondary on dad's 91 Cavalier, and this is a 96, as a secondary on dad's Cavalier, it cost me $2,600 a year to insure myself on his car. And what in the fuck is this thing doing? I'm a little nervous. I don't know what the hell this guy's doing, but I just want to clear the, the street light here. And, oh, tell me you're not coming all the way back, bro. I fucking can't right now. Oh, fuck. He just made me shit my fucking shit. Like, I got nervous there. I thought he was coming back. Like, he would have totally clotheslined my car. Would have gave me the Ryback fucking meat hook big times. Okay, car, find the ground and fucking pull it. Jesus. Like it's all glare ice underneath this, eh? Like what you see on the ground, that little bit of brown snow, that's salt. But that black stuff you see where the tires go in, that's glare ice. So you kind of don't want to drive on it, but you also kind of got to because that's where the center of the lane is. And But it's just fucking winter driving. Not a big deal. And if you get into a collision, you're only doing 50K. You might get hurt a little bit, but that's why you have insurance, you know? But if you don't drive like an arsenal and fucking Paul Walker your way around corners and fucking red light launch yourself and be an idiot, well, there's no reason to get into an accident in the winter. You just got to drive properly and just don't be aggressive. Take off from, like we're in the light, light turns green here. Don't friggin' stomp the throttle out like it was the, the chick who cheated on you or something. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to fucking be gingerly with it. You can't just mash her to the rug and hope for full power to the shields. Like... You gotta fucking get on her lightly, and when you hear your friggin' ABS come on, or if you're not driving an ABS or a traction control car, all you do is when you hear your tires spin, because you'll know, you'll go, Wah! and it gets really whiny on this ice, fucking let off a bit. Don't rug her, just, just drive gingerly. If you can't even get on the throttle because you're spinning, then, uh, see, I just fucking spun. Because that guy coming up behind me really fast is probably gonna fucking suck my, my, my muffler off. He's gonna suck my muffler off because he loves that can. That's why he drives like a fucking idiot. Fucking loves sucking tailpipes. These guys are lane blocking so I can probably get out there and pick up some momentum before I get stovepiped. Because I don't want to be a stovepiper today. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to be a stove fucking piper. Oh, I wonder if we got some amazing plow action happening. Remember how it was before I left for Christmas? Let's see what it's like. Oh, I got the wheel fully turned, but we're not turning. There we go. Look at this. All right, guys, let's do a little jump. Wheel. Well, that wasn't even fun. Look at the fucking plow job these idiots did. Why are we paying these fucking idiots? I don't even know where the fuck to turn here. <laughs> Let's go check out the other side before I park it. Fucking company, man, I tell you. Look at how bad it's snowing down here, eh? That's because the lake is straight ahead beyond that train of the lake. Let's go see what's going on over here. Like, look at this plow job. This is fucking brutal. It's like they quit. They, did, they, they do a line and then they're like, ah. That's a pretty cool screenshot though right there, eh? I might use that for something. Maybe a possible backdrop on commenting on comments. You never know. Yeah, this is fucked. This is severely dicked. Anyway, I'm gonna park in my usual because uh, that way there I can see my car <laughs> from the uh, office and I can remote start the thing. But anyway, I'm at friggin' work, people, so I'm probably gonna shut her down here and call her quits, and, uh, fuck, we'll carry on tonight, I'll probably attack that door. No, I gotta edit. I got no vlogs left, so I gotta edit all these vlogs up and get them up to YouTubes. 
and then I'll probably attack that door once I get myself a little buffer in there and uh, really straighten it out so it doesn't fucking lick the plywood anymore. I need a chisel or my axe. I need my axe. But anyway, people, that's all we got for today. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. Big, big, big thanks for watching the video. I definitely do appreciate it. I wouldn't make them if nobody watched them because that would be kind of pointless. But uh, anyway, people, until next time, keep on vlogging. Holy fuck, look at the gray hairs. Jeez Louise, I need to shave my head tonight. Maybe buy some hair dye.